Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Welcome back. All right, welcome to Advanced Class 56. And we're going to start off with a little review. We were talking about the verb to wish. To wish. I wish I had more time. I wish I were rich. I wish, I wish, I wish. And we had how we have it one step back in tense. We were talking about that over the last two classes, really. So one more exercise with this. The verb to wish, and then we'll move on and review uh, yesterday's translation list, which was translation list number six. I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, well, I'm going to yeah, ask you some questions, and I, w- I would like you to answer and then respond with wish. For example, does Spain have huge oil reserves? No, it doesn't, but I wish it did. So remember, we're taking a step back. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But I wish it did. You know, it doesn't. So we have this auxiliary verb, it doesn't. But I wish it, and then the auxiliary verb goes back one step. I wish it did. Can you turn invisible? No, I can't. But I wish I could. Is gasoline cheap in Spain? No, it isn't. But I wish it were. Did you win the Christmas lottery last year? No, I didn't, but I wish I had. I wish I had. I wish I had won it. I didn't. I didn't win it, but I wish I had won it. In the past, so we go back to past perfect, I wish I had won it. And the auxiliary verb is what we use in the short answer, I wish I had. Is today Friday? No, it isn't. But I wish it were. Are you planning to take the next two weeks off? No, I'm not. But I wish I were. Very good. Is Spain the richest country in the world? No, it isn't. But I wish it were. Are there a lot of great jobs available on the market right now? No, there aren't. But I wish there were. Is there an easy way to get rich? No, there isn't. But I wish there were were. All right. Great. Let's move on. Let's move on now. And, uh, well, we're going to practice one thing that we practiced yesterday, which was the translation list. So I want to go back and review translation list number six, because we had some very interesting structures that appeared in this list. Number one, me puedes sumir estas cifras? Can you sum up these figures for me? Number two, siempre tienes prisa. En voz alta en casa. ¿Cómo es en inglés? You're always in a hurry. To be in a hurry. You're always in a hurry. Tener prisa. To be in a hurry. You're always in a hurry. Number three, hemos tenido bastantes problemas con el nuevo sistema. We've had quite a few problems with the new system. Yes, we've had quite a few, bastantes, quite a few, quite a few. We've had quite a few problems with the new system. Yes. And number four, aprovecha mi generosidad mientras puedas. Take advantage of my generosity while you can. I'm not going to be this generous forever. I'm not going to be this generous, the adjective generous, forever. So, take advantage of my generosity, the noun. Take advantage of my generosity while you can. Aprovechar, to take advantage of. Take advantage of my generosity, generosity, while you can. Number five. Puede que no sea tan generoso en el futuro. I may not be so generous in the future. I may not be so generous in the future. Generoso, generous, 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 generoso, generous. I may not be so generous in the future. Future. 
picture, Portugal, the T-U sound, choo, choo, choo. I may not be so generous in the future. Number six, es como si le conociera desde hace años. It's as if I had known him for years. It's as if, como si, it's as if I had known him for years. <clears throat> him. Make sure you're closing your lips with the M. Him. It's as if I had known him for years. Number seven. En cuanto llegues al banco, llámame. En cuanto. ¿Cómo se dice eso? As soon as. Very good. En cuanto llegues al banco, llámame. As soon as you get to the bank, call me. Call me. Llámame. Call me. Call me. Call me. As soon as you get to the bank, call me. Okay, conmigo en voz alta. As soon as you get to the bank, call me. Very good. Number eight. Él es bastante más alto de lo que pensé. He's a good deal taller than I thought. En casa está haciendo good deal. ¿Qué es eso, Kyle? But a good deal is, bueno, bastante. He's quite a bit taller. That's more common. Quite a bit. He's quite a bit taller than I thought. He's quite a bit taller than I thought. Than I thought. He's quite a bit taller than I thought. He's a good deal taller than I thought. Number nine. Hemos sufrido una serie de contratiempos que están retrasando la producción. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. They are delaying production. We've suffered a series of setbacks, retrasos. Hemos sufrido. We've suffered. We have. We've. Con la contracción. We've. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. Aparte de unos problemas al principio, todo anda bien. Aside from a few problems at the beginning, Everything is running well. Aparte de unos problemas al principio, todo anda bien. Aside from, aparte de, aside from, a few problems at the beginning. Everything is running well. Everything is running well. Todo anda bien. Everything is running well. Everything's running well. Number 11. Él es, con mucho, el mejor jugador del país. He's, he is, con la contracción. He's, by far, con mucho, con mucha referencia también. He's, by far, the best player in the country. He's, by far, the best player in the country. And number 12, quedan bastantes. Quedan Bastantes. There are quite a few left. There are quite a few left. Very good. Expression of the day. Yes, it's time now for the expression of the day. The expression of the day today is a cash cow. Cash cow. Yes. Hmm. Una vaca de efectivo. Cash, efectivo, metálico, cash. So money in cash is the best kind of money to have. A cash cow. Cash cow. So a cash cow is a pro essentially a star product that, pr that gives a lot of money to the company. A product that sells a lot and generates a lot of revenue. It generates income. It produces cash. It sells well. It makes 
money, a product that sells well and makes money for the company. And very often, companies rely on a cash cow product, a product that that generates a lot of revenue. Very often, companies rely on cash cows to fund, right, to financially be able to support, to, to fund other products, or well, pr- projects, I should say, or products, the development of other products. Um, <clears throat> so cash cows are very important. So within a company, you may have a number of different products, and some products are more profitable than others, and cash cows are, are products that typically quickly generate revenue, and they, they give you money quickly that you can use to fund or to pay for other projects. So those are cash cows. And that's our expression of the day, a cash cow. All right. All right, now we're going to move on to practice two different uh, expressions. The first one we have here is, it's a good thing. Menos mal. Well, both expressions are two different ways of saying menos mal. Menos mal. It's a good thing. And then we also have the structure, it's just as well. It's just as well. It's just as well. Menos mal que no llovía. It's a good thing it didn't rain. Hmm. Menos mal que no había mucha gente. It's just as well that there weren't many people. Yes, it's just as well that there weren't many people. So let's practice with both. <clears throat> well, first, first here, we could afford it. Let's practice first with, it's a good thing. So it's a good thing we could afford it. It's a good thing we could afford it. We had enough gas. Gas being gasoline, petrol, right? Uh, gas. We, we had enough gas. It's a good thing we had enough gas. It's just as well we had enough gas. Menos mal. Okay. All right. They came with us. It's a good thing they came with us. Yes. It's just as well they came with us. It started on time. At home? It's a good thing it started on time. It's just as well it started on time. She didn't complain. It's a good thing she didn't complain. It's a good thing she didn't complain. There were tickets left. It's a good thing there were tickets left. It's a good thing there were tickets left. Now here, we could say it's a good thing that there were tickets left. But as we often do, we often omit the word that. The complete structure would be, it's a good thing that there were tickets left. But we can say, it's a good thing there were tickets left. This is a very common way of saying this. And then we can also, in fact, we often, uh, we, we often remove um, the it's a and simply say, good thing there were tickets left. Oh, good thing you're here. Good thing he came. Good thing it still works. Good thing it's it's better. Good thing you're feeling well. Okay? They were able to help us. It's a good thing they were able to help us. You could say, it's a good thing that they were able to, they were able to help us. Or, good thing they were able to help us. And then, likewise, just as well they were able to help us. Yes. She didn't break her arm. Well, it's a good thing she didn't break her arm. Yes. We had a car. It's a good thing we had a car. Good thing we had a car. It's a good thing that we had a car. Right? All three are valid. And likewise, it's just as well we had a car. All right. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it's time now for the vocabulary of the day. That's right, our five words of vocabulary for today. No hacer caso. To ignore. To ignore. No hacer caso. Mantenerse con. El ritmo, digamos. To keep up with. To keep up with. To keep up with. Buscar. Como consulta. 
To look up. To look up. Do you look up words in the dictionary every day? Do you look up words in the dictionary every day? I look up words in the dictionary almost, almost every day. Asegurarse. To make certain. To make certain. Asegurarse to make certain. Yes, make certain you wear your coat. Make sure. You can also say, in fact, it's more common to say make sure. Make sure you wear your coat. Make certain you wear your coat. Fabricar. To manufacture. Now, remember, chew, 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 chew. Manufacture. 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 Very good. With me, one more time. Manufacture. Very good. All right. Very good. Now, finally, we've got two minutes left. So we've got to talk about something that I've been looking forward to talking to. To talking about, rather. I've been looking forward to this topic. I've been looking forward to talking about the structure to look forward to. Esperar con ilusión. Esperar algo con ilusión. Or tener muchas ganas de hacer algo. Uh, to look forward to. Now, remember, look forward to plus gerund. Gerundio. Plus gerund or noun. I look forward to Christmas. I always look forward to to Christmas. Yes, it's my favorite time of the year. I look forward to it all year. I'm so glad it's Christmas time. I look forward to Christmas all year. I'm also, I am looking forward to summer vacation. I'm looking forward to my vacation. Noun. I'm looking forward to my vacation. I'm looking forward to taking my vacation. I'm looking forward to going on my vacation. I'm looking forward to traveling. Okay, but it's interesting, and I think it's worth mentioning that this is a great structure for business and business letters. I look forward to seeing you at the conference, John. You can put it in an email. Uh, it's been great working with you. I look forward to working with you again. And we often use this structure when we hacer la pelota, as you say in Spanish, to when when we um, you know when when we want to impress someone. And uh, so we say, oh, I look forward to seeing you. And then maybe in reality we're thinking, oh, boy, I, I hate that guy. But you have to, we need his business. So we say, I look forward to seeing you. Yes. When you were young, did you look forward to th uh, Magic King's Day? Los Reyes Magos? The Magic King's Day, I suppose I could say in English. Yes, when I was young, I looked forward to it. I looked forward to Christmas. Yes. Did you, uh, do you look forward to going on a vacation? Yes, I look forward to going on a vacation. Look forward to plus gerund or plus noun. Okay, I am completely out of time, but I look forward to joining you again tomorrow at the same time. And I hope that you also look forward to listening to the show again tomorrow. That's all the time I have for today. So thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.